on rebound on KTM. Let's go! I love this bike. I don't know why Bob did it. <laughs> there was this recent incident. I guess you would all have seen it on Facebook. This cop somewhere I think uh, down south. This guy was uh, so fucking irritated with uh, somebody on a Duke 200. Sorry, it was RT 200 I guess. So uh, what he did was he poured salt into that bike. So it may be gross, it may be stupid thing to do. But uh, even if you want to ruin someone's bike, that would be the stupidest thing you would be going out to do. Mission more than that. Tony also. KTM in the letter of India. You pull a wood see. Then at the paper. I was going to do the experiment to dissolve the salt in petrol and uh, yeah. siphoning. You know, it's an um, actually taking out real petrol from a real motorbike. And actually, the bike that I love most. Well, I guess this must will do. Now, so I'll be adding salt till this particular mark. One tablespoon, another tablespoon. Okay, so I'll shake it so that the level could be even. Now I'll be shaking it vigorously and then I'll see what happens whether it's going to be miscible with petrol or not. Okay, let's let's go pay a visit to KTM. See? It's not really mixing. Can you see it? See? The level is still the same, it's not mixing. Uh, what they call in uh, layman's language like dissolves like now let's uh, go and see if the level has changed even a bit not really can you see it it has not really changed it's not really soluble in petrol so you need not panic Okay, so today we have hers here. Yes. A nice guy. So he'll be doing experiment on our behalf. Hers, yes. ये petrol इसमें मिल जाएगा क्या salt में? I think no. Why? Okay, hers will explain. No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, hers. The thing is like uh, salt is a polar compound and petrol is non-polar solvent. So it will uh, be miscible with water, but not with petrol. Okay. See the level has still not changed. We have been doing this dumb salad for like uh, way too many times. They are not going to marry and the guy is really sad. So that's it fellows. It's not going to happen and uh, even if the cop is going to put pet uh, sorry, salt into your tank, it's not really going to damage your bike or for that matter it's, it's, it's only going to sit there in the bottom of your tank. See here, it's uh, still in the crystal form, standard crystal form. It's not even broken also. You can't really see it in... It's neither colloid, neither uh, suspension and leave about the solution part, it's not going to mix with petrol. It's cool. It's cool, right? So, what did a cop do now? He has an KTM, right? Nothing is really happening. Okay, I'll leave it at this. Make your decision wisely. Next time when something like this happens, just take out your petrol tank, flush it, get rid of salt, and you are good to go. See, it's all salt here. I guess I'll be able to use the petrol, but the salt will be going to the drains. Okay, guys. 
Okay, so see, nothing may really happen, right? It didn't even dissolve properly. Not leave dissolve, it doesn't form solution, it doesn't form substance. It's not even in the colloidal form. So it's hardly going to affect your body. 